Hey everybody, here we are for match one. We've won the die roll. We're going to play first and we're going to see a decent opening hand. We've got a slew into a scavenger. Uh, we can cycle if need be. This is fine. Totes, fine. Canyon slew, play it down. Pass the turn. Mountain. Oh, didn't call it properly. One drop green. Awashra. Sure. That's a thing. Scarab Feast. That's less of a thing, but we can throw it away. It's a better throw away early than horror. You gonna be embalming opponent? Probably not. So Scarab Feast can probably easily get tossed. You gonna swing in? Send a message, opponent. I'm tapped out. Ah, no message sent. Uh, a land. So we'll drop a land. We'll swing in and throw away a mountain. Rummage, rummage. Getting a stir of the sands. That's nifty. block. Let's think about whether or not to pump. No pump. And we'll pass the turn. And we'll throw away a Scarab Feast. <laughs> and then of course we'll see a Hooded Hydra come down or something. Ah, that's going to hold those counters. Or counter. Got yourself a 3-4. Let's cycle the Scarab Feast. Pitiless Vizier. Oh, that'll trade with the Kudu. Thresher Lizard. Um, so Thresher Lizard would keep that up to cycle. Yeah, I like that play. We're going to have to take four off the Kudu, but that's fine. Because if we get a land, then we have final reward online. What you got, opponent? Crocodile. Ew. All right. We're going to take eight instead of three. I think I said four for some reason. Anyways, way more than four. I'm taking eight. Eight to the face. Ouch. That hurt a bunch. Cycle the horror. And this, of course, is a, a solid representation of why you can't dirtle in this format. You know, we've been cycling and kind of messing around a little bit, and we're getting hit in the face. Uh, so, we could drop a Pitiless Vizier, we could hold up Final Reward, we could hold up Electrify. My concern would be him having a Hypatra's Mark and making his creature Hexproof, which would be bad. Um, so, I think we're just going to zap the Crocodile right now. Zap! And then, are we going to block? I don't think we're going to block. So I think we just come in for five. He can't have another crocodile, right? Please? Please, no crocodile number two. Yay, no crocodile number two. I'll take three. Go to nine. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Okie dokes. Uh, so, 
we can kill that and get in for another five. And then we've got Chump Blocks McGee coming up. So yeah, let's do that. Final reward, the Colossipede. Uh, yeah, let's get in for five. Take him to ten. We're going to go to six. Uh, what? Oh, he wanted to block with that, but he went too far through, I think. Three cards in hand, all the mana. Only uses three of it. Gets himself another kudu. That's fine. Take three, go to six. This might even be a 4-4 next turn, and it will just totally stop the blocks. Uh-oh. Trial of Strength. More things. Opponent, why you gotta be like that? Uh, Dune Beetle. Time for Chumpers McGee? Alternatively, we could Dune Beetle and Pitiless Vizier. Which would turn on the Thresher Lizard. I like that play, actually. Let's do that. Turn on Thresher. Opponent's down to one card, and we've got a hell of a card left. Let's hope that they don't have a hell of a card left. Cartouche? Quarry Hauler. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So how do we close out this game? I'm not sure of the answer to that. Alright, so opponent doesn't really have any good attacks. Perfect. Perfect Arena. We get a land. So let's flood the board. Do we want to attack first? We could attack with we could basically do one last rummage. One last rummage. No, we're not going to do that. That's way too cute. Uh, yeah, let's just stir the sands up a little bit. Zombies! Bleah, zombies. All right. Um, doesn't change much. What do we get if we flunge next turn? We get in for two, four, five. That's not great. Pass the turn. Just need to top deck Archfiend. Soul Stinger. Sure. And we flood. Um, okay. Um, I think we do the. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's do a desperation rummage here. Because we need to not be flooding out like this. Not at this point in the game. Yes, please. Throw away. Horror. Holy moly. Sure. And let's drop a horror. That soul stinger makes my pitiless vizier a lot less good, unfortunately. Cartouche? Cartouche. Now the game comes to a close. Goodbye, horror. Hello, another bear. Or beast. 
They say it's a beast, but it'll always be an alpine grizzly in my heart. Opponent's gonna take this one, I think. That 4-5 is just going to be a bit too much to handle. Holy crap. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 7 lands left out of 20. But we are in the troubles. We are in the troubles. In with your... Nope. Okay. A pass of the turn. Giving me time to just continue drawing garbage. Sweet. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Six lands out of 19 left. Uh-oh. What you got? Spider, but, but... But my blighted bat. My entire plan. Attack opponent. All right, deck. Not a land. Not a land, not a land, not a land, not a land, not a land. Edifice. Sure. Seems dece. Would have been dece several land draws ago instead. So we're going to say Kudu can't attack. wonder how many cartouches he has. Get a brick. No attacks. Continuing establishing his board. Their board. Nope. Just a pass. And another land, because why not? Pass the turn. Five lands left out of 17. Greater than a 66% chance of drawing not a land. Let's do it. Uh-oh. What you got? Cartouche. Wasteland Scorpion. Yeah, that's fine. I feel like I almost would have cycled that instead. Oops, don't want to do that in main phase. Don't want any shenanigans happening. Opponent giving me all the time in the world to draw more swamps. <laughs> uh... Four lands left in the deck. So we're at, what, 75% chance of drawing not a land now? Hey, our opponent got the Blighted Bat. And they're probably going to make it hasty, too. They sure are. Well, Mr. Bat, no attacks for you. Now, I assume my opponent's going to swing in with something here. They just have such a better board. Just team. There we go. You got brave, opponent. What kind of combat tricks you got? Probably some good ones. Let's eat that. Let's eat one of those. Let's eat one of those. Let's eat that. Let's chump that. And let's... I guess we have to block the four. Don't we? Um, I could eat the spider instead. I could eat the spider. <clears throat> no, that's still six. Throw a zombie in front of that. And we take four. Go to two. I get to keep that. And that's it. <laughs> uh.
Yeah, let's do that. Trick. Yeah, you got a trick. Shed weakness. Sure thing. Is this whenever you remove? No, it's when it dies. All right, deck, show me the land on top. Thank you. <laughs> uh, not much we can do. Um, hmm, just go back in. Just go back in and not draw that many lands. There's an argument for us being 16 lands with the cycling that we have, but I don't think we have, like, we don't have that much, right? Like, we're, we're ideally not cycling that. One, two... Three, four. Yeah, like we're more of a discard deck than we are a straight up cycling deck. So I don't think 16 would be justified. Not with how many four and fives we have. We'll certainly play first. Um, <laughs> three drop, we can cycle. We can try to get there. Let's do it. Where were you last game? Where were you? Opponent's going to six. Scrying to the top. Mountain. Let's bluff the uh, the magma spray. Did we get a magma spray? I don't think we did. We had to pick something over it, right? Cultivator. Turn one. Never didn't have it. Hey, hey we get another land. I think we still cycle the Pursue Glory. I'm not a fan, and I've talked about this before, of cycling just because <gasps> we have a card that cycles, let's, let's throw it away. I, I generally like to cast my spells, but this is one that I don't think is going to get us there. Whoa. Are you off a color opponent? Let's cycle the Pursue Glory. Turning it into... Let's throw this hands. Well, that's an upgrade. Let's drop a Thresher. Pass the turn. And let's hope that we get... Pardon? Oh, cycle. Let's hope that we get a 4-drop. Because I'd rather not cycle these off before the Archfiend. Huh, that's yucky. Uh, let's pass the turn, and then next turn we'll drop Archfiend. And then we'll start doing some BS. Cycle that, cycle that. What you got, opponent? Giant Spider. None of my concern. So Cartouche doesn't even do it next turn, not with a spider. I guess Cartouche and a Shed Weakness would do it. Archfiend. Bram. Don't do it, opponent. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, opponent didn't do it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pass the turn. So unfortunately, we can only still cycle two of these. Because we're lacking on black. Welp. Let's... A cycle of Scarab Feast. So I am going to need to be very careful of the Shed Weakness. Just by the by. Uh, do we want a zombie? I feel like we want three zombies. Let's cycle the Horror. Heart Piercer Manticore. You don't do much. Um, well, let's swing in, and we've got Final Reward up. 
if our opponent does want to like shed weakness that or something no blocks sweet we just get in just get in um four five six seven so we still can only do one thing <sighs> I guess we stir the sands just get a whole great big bunch of uh zombies yeah let's stir the sands zombies so our opponent doesn't have shed weakness if they did they would have used it Or wait, Shed Weakness takes one counter off? Hapatras takes all. Shed Weakness takes one. Right. Uh, so cycle plus grab a land. Is opponent... Take, hey, we got there. That's an early concede. wonder if opponent has Sandworm Convergence. Uh, well, we're going to go back in. Go right back in. Try to do that again. Like in this deck. Seems fun. Um, We have a 3-drop. And we're on the draw. Slightly slow, but I'll keep. No, a Washer's Cultivator. Opponent, what's wrong? Well, there's our fourth land that we needed. Two drop. What you got? Dune Beetle. Uh, well. Do we just drop the slew? We can always cycle it later, so maybe we don't. The only crummy part is going to be if we, like, top deck our Archfiend and never draw a land before then. We don't have, oh no, we have a uh, heart piercer as a double red. Uh, I don't like this. Because um, if we end up land screwed and we don't do it now, we're going to have to take a turn off at some point. All right. Or I guess we have two four drops we can do back to back. Yeah, let's hold it for the time being. I mean, we could even actually just cycle this turn, right? Might be wise. Because we still have several turns before Archfiend. Or our other five drops. Yeah, I think we just cycle it this turn. I think we cycle it most games that we have it, like, post turn two or three. A a with lands in hand, that is. All right. What you got, opponent? There is a very loud bird outside of my apartment right now. And it needs to go away. I'm going to take one. Ouch. One has been taken. What's your follow-up, opponent? Nothing. I will very much accept nothing. Cycle that away. <laughs> Draw land anyways. Let's drop a sure shot to stop that dune beetle. Pass the turn. I got rid of the, ver the bird through very vigorous and loud clapping, which now has resulted in my head hurting more. <laughs> what you got? You got a kudu. Oh, that's a 3-4. So what do I do about that? I draw another land. That's what I do. Uh, well, we could Emberhorn to threaten the straight-up trade. We could Merciless Javelinier to threaten the trade, but also turn our opponent into, holy god, I need to win right now, attack with everything. 
which is probably not a great situation for us to be in. So I believe I will do the Emberhorn. And I will probably trade it off with the Kudu. I think. I'll probably take three ones. Probably take it once. Next turn, we either horror or final reward something. <clears throat> I guess he might just cartouche here. Hapatra. Ew. Opponent. I smell shenanigans. Well. I'm going to come in for four. So it's counter, get a snake. So I think we're okay for one turn if he gets like one snake. And it's not as many, it's not how Nest of Scarabs works, no. So we'll get in for four here and we'll drop the Horror. Well, we could drop the Javelinier and next turn just be like, discard, discard, kill. No, let's do the Horror. <clears throat> what you got? Wander, sure. Three cards in hand. Crocomedile. Splendid Agni. A two drop. What two drop could be happening here? Exemplar? No, Splendid Agony. Counter, counter, snake, snake. All right. Two snakes is, I guess, a little bit more of a problem. But again, Javelin Ear will just be like, pew, pew. That's the sound of a javelin piercing a snake, just in case you weren't getting it. Uh, a scarab feast, eh? Uh, well, two cards in hand, time for Javelin here. And then I assume we'll pick off a snake with our swamp. Opponent's got two cards in hand. Please, no more counters. Please, no crocodile. Trial of Zeal, B.S. B.S. All right. Uh, we're going to get rid of a snake. Oh, <laughs> Trial of Zeal, Trial of Strength, and Cartouche. That hurts. Definitely hurts. But our opponent does only have one card left. So we could attack, exert, attack. We're going to have to... Snake will eat the horror. And he'll probably just take the four off that. That's all very less than ideal. I'm at 19. He does have one card. Um, hmm. Yeah. I think I'm okay doing that. We need to push hard. Push hard. In 
in an exert. Might even be bluffing a uh, supernatural stamina here, which I do have in the deck. And maybe we even cycle into, actually. <laughs> it would be a 1 out of 25 chance. But we've beaten the odds before by drawing a billion lands. Yeah, I think he's just going to take 4 here. Ooh. Ooh. Intriguing opponent. Intriguing. What's your second block going to be? The Dune Beetle. Ooh. We, we have confused our opponent. They are not at all sure what to do. Okay, they are going to do that. So we are going to cycle the Scarab Feast, see if we can find our Supernatural Stamina. Uh, we found a Nimble Blade Kenra instead. So yeah, we'll trade the Horror here. And then we'll go Nimble Blade, Dune Beetle, pass the turn. No, opponent, no. Oh, it's just Claw Speed. Okay. <laughs> I was really expecting Crocodile, Snake, Crocodile Attack, Grossness All of the grossness Alright deck Don't flood Battlefield Scavenger That seems okay Seems okay We'll have to take 5 off that Clossipede But that's not a big deal What you got? Crocodile. Quarry Holler. Putting another counter on my Minotaur. Gross. Gross, opponent. Gross. So it would become a 3 2 when it attacks, so you can just be like block, block. And a snake. Okay, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. We need Archfiend this turn and then nothing but cycling cards. Or I guess we have like double discard option. I will take five. Come on, deck. Don't flood out. You know we're going to. Ha! 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 The call. The call. Um, so I could throw a whole bunch of minus one, minus one counters down right now. I'd have to throw away final reward. But I think I'm going to, because then we can just do it again next turn. It'll kill Hapatra, significantly weaken many other things. So yeah, in exert. I'm going to throw away final reward, as much as that sucks. But this is how we get back in. We press the advantage while our opponent only has a single card. Buy a final reward. High supernatural stamina. Counters to the team! Ooh, opponent doesn't even have any great blocks here either. Block with that and the Kudu. And so we kill off the Kudu. We could Supernatural Stamina and kill them both off and bring it back. And then... Ooh, I like it. We are going to do that, actually. Supernatural Stamina. ba da ba Kill them both comes back. We're going to get to exert with it again next turn. Whew! That arch fiend call. Opponent's got an Awash for Cultivator. Presumably that's what they drew. And I'm guessing they're just keeping a land back. Yeah, I'll take four. Ain't none of my concern. What's in hand? Warfire Javelin here for one two, three, and it goes to creature. Yeah. 
Or, or is it better to just discard it? We could minus two minus two is team. If we attack and attack, exert, rummage, rummage. Yeah, let's minus two minus two the team. In exert, in exert, in. Hey, we won. So what was going to happen there? We were going to turn Warfire Javelinier into Electrify. <laughs> we were going to turn Electrify into Pitiless Vizier. Blank the board almost. Well, hey, we're up a game or we're up a match. I will see you guys for round two, where hopefully we can keep the shenanigans going.